Oh, hi everybody. I am back with another video and I have two months worth of Bambox. Um, I have, so I don't know which one's which. I'm going to do a little peek and see which one was the recent one I got and which one was the last one I got. I think this is the most recent. I'm going to start with the older one. So I have not opened these up yet. I'm late. Um, this one just arrived like yesterday. Um, this one arrived for the last month. So I'm not certain what the themes are, but I'm sure it will tell us on the cheat sheet. So you open it up, and of course, with black paper on top. First thing I see is a 8-bit pen. It is from Dirty Girl Pin Co. And it's called Unbeatable. But there we go. It's an 8-bit pen, so it's pretty cool. Then we got a throwing star kind of thing. I'm not certain what that's from. Again, I don't know the theme, so it's really hard to kind of pinpoint what they're from when you don't know what the even the theme of the box is. I also oddly enough have stopped getting emails from Bambox so I need to figure Bambox so I need to figure out what's going on with my email because I'm not even getting any emails from them anymore. There we go. Yeah. Figure out what that's from. I got a one up card. So I don't know what that's gonna go towards. We got some pretty glasses in here. So I got Freddy versus Jason. And there we go. So there he is inside a tub of blood. It says and he was hand signed by Zach Ward, who played Bobby Davis in Freddy versus Jason. And then we got this really cool. I think is this Ash versus the Evil Dead? I think it is. What is this? So I can take it out. We got these. Come on. So I'm guessing this looks like it's a greedy print, which is freaking awesome. So there's the print. Take a look at it. Oh, it is so cool. That is a cool greedy print. I like that. Groovy has been hand side barist. Brad Albright and guaranteed to be elephant. So, yeah, because I got the groovy, groovy one. The Hail King Baby, or Hail to the King Baby, was limited edition only 500 for the greedy print. So, both of them are pretty cool. That one just had a little bit more green on the bottom, too. Um, so, yeah, NES Jason. So, it's Jason Voorhees. Um, Fan art pens, and I got the limited edition only 2500. So that's actually probably the one up right there. Yep, it is. And I got Elsa's Throwing Star replica from Resident Evil, Afterlife, and Resident Evil 4. Uh, other than like the first couple movies, I kind of gave up on Resident Evil because love the games, but the movies suck. So yeah, and then. Zach Ward, Freddy vs. Jason signing. Um, and so there were uh, some versions that were the poster of Freddy vs. Jason that were limited. Edition only um, 99. There we go. So that's pretty cool. So I love the prints uh, in this one. I love having a Freddy vs. Jason item. I love the pin. The NES um, Jason Ward. There we go. We got stuff with Jason Voorhees and Freddy. And then Asterisk these Evil Dead 3D print. That is pretty cool. That 3D print is awesome. I'll have to uh, hang that up and put the 3D glasses next to it where you can like take them off and be able to play. That's cool for him to be like, here, wear these and check it out even more. There we go. So that was that one. Again, I don't remember the month for that one. I think it was probably... I think this next one was technically August. 
So that one would have been, would probably be July. Probably said it on this weather sheet. I didn't pay attention. So let's open up the next one for, which should be August. So again, black paper. Okay. I see it ring. It looks like a scarab beetle, so I'm guessing this has something to do with like the mummy or something like that. Because I think Universal Monsters, Universal Horror was in one of the boxes that I saw a little thing for. So that's what this is. So it just looks like a scarab um, ring. So there we go. And then we have another really cool pin. This one is a Freddy. This is Frederick Charles, designed by Brian Romero. There we go. So there's Freddy wearing a bow tie. So. Yep, so this one was August. That one was July. So we got a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. I'm not into Five Nights at Freddy's. I think the game is boring as all of hell. And not scary. Um, and I'm amazed it's gotten as big as it has. Um, but I know they're, I guess, making a Freddy movie. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Which is weird. Um, so this is hand signed by Van Gogh, who voices Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's. So, there we go. So I might find a kid who really likes Five Nights at Freddy's and give them this. And then we have this really weird print. Looks like uh, they use the warp effect in Photoshop, like the um, ripple effect in Photoshop. So it's the Charlie Manson of Ghosts. This is an art print 13. It's been hand signed by our Oscar. Oscar van and is guaranteed to be. So, eh, it's okay. Not the coolest. From far away, it actually looks pretty decent, like on the camera. But when you get close up to it, it's just really the ripple effect. So it just reminds me of me taking a picture and importing it into Photoshop and just ripple effect. And there you go. It's art. So, Emotep Scare Ring, worn by Boris Karloff and uh, it's from Dark Matter Props, so I was correct. It is from the Mummy, so really cool. Um, fan box, Helen Graf, Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy signing. Frederick Charles fan art pins by artist Brian Romero, and I got the uh, non rare one, uh, the one limited edition two fifty. Those are really awesome. So I'm gonna get the one. I would have loved those. So those right there. Those are really cool. Um, 13 fan art collected, collection art prints for artist Oscar Van. And I have no clue what is the movie 13. I have no clue what that even is from. So yeah, I like the, the uh, pin and I like the um, scare ring. The other things, uh, I don't even really know what. Um, I had five minutes of putting I care less about the other one. I have no clue what it is. Looks somewhat decent, but it's not really that cool for me. So that one, kind of a bust other than the pen. Um, that's the other one, that's July one. That one looks pretty cool though. So, I know I'm not gonna. Unfortunately, August box was not for me. Again, I really need to look at the, um, what the things are. Again, I was getting more emails that were telling me like, oh, this is this month's theme kind of stuff. And then if like I knew that the next month's theme was gonna be stuff that like I wouldn't like like anything in it, I would skip that one. Um, but I haven't seen that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, that was it for the band box. Um, I'm late unboxing, of course, July's. Um, I'm pretty on par with the opening August, because again, I just got it like two days ago probably. Um, because of the long weekend, I think it was delayed even more. So thank you for watching. As always, peace out.